to the Man Motor Show, y'all. How are y'all doing today? Today is December 3rd, so I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate it, I'm hoping that everybody is having happy holidays and whatnot. Whatever it might be that you're celebrating, but uh. Yeah, I have 35 videos saved in my computer right now that need to be posted. Uh, and I have like 35, 40 more that I need to make. But this one just kind of had to... I just kind of had to not post anything else for today or make anything else for today. I have to make this video. Because this video is a little bit more important. Uh, for anybody that knows Joker Motorcycle... She lives in Portland, Oregon. She had a YZF R3 uh, that just got stolen uh, sometime about a week or so ago. She sent me the pictures and everything today, so send go look at my Instagram. Uh, me and Moto, I'm gonna have her tagged in the pictures. I'm gonna have her the pictures of her bike also posted. I'm gonna have her pictures of her bike posted my to my Instagram and have her tagging it. So you can always hit her up on Instagram. I'm gonna. She also is a uh, pre uh, of on all the people that on my Instagram or on YouTube. I have what is that the pre premiered channels or whatever. She's in my premiere channels or whatever it is that you want to call it. So you can hit her up there as well. Or follow her on there if you want. But uh, yeah, it's a 2017 YZF R3 I think she said it was. With, uh, let me see here. I got the uh, text message here that I'm going to tell you. So... Yeah, it's a uh, 2007 YZF R3 ABS matte black, fully stocked, and in excellent condition. Legendary Yamaha Superbike styling, advanced twin cylinder engine, and ultra light chassis ABS. This occur occurred in the city of Portland, Oregon. So that is basically the information I have on um i seriously doubt you're all going to be able to see that on my phone that's basically i'm going to send that to my email and use that as a thumbnail but i'm also going to be using these using that on instagram so if you all really need to see what the bike looks like you can view it over there so that would probably be the best thing to do is go look at my Instagram and you know see what the video uh, what the bike looks like but uh Yes, I'm in my redneck garage right now, and I just basically wanted to show y'all an easy way to help kind of prevent your bike from being stolen. Now, I put my bike in my house, and I lock my bike up the exact way I'm going to show you how I lock my bike up in here is the exact same way I lock my bike up in the house. The only reason why I don't want to show you how I do it inside my house is because I also have a few eye bolts drilled into my floor in the corner where I have my bike at and I don't really want to show the exact way of how I do it just so that way people don't know how to steal my bike. If they ever break into my house and I also don't want to show anything that has to do with my house inside the shed here I don't care but I'm gonna it doesn't matter you're not gonna sit there's nothing personal in this 
shed other than my bike when I work on it or like when I'm doing product reviews or like now. So I'm gonna so the way I lock up my bike, this is just the first step I take when I lock up my bike. I have a three eighth inch chain okay as well as a, a large lock this is, i only have one lock on here right now this is just like i said to show you some ideas i have the chain running around the frame here and the plastic chain guard i have my motorcycle ramp down there which the chain is running through and that is an aluminum chain with a steel or it's an aluminum ramp with a galvanized steel chain running through it and it makes a lot of fucking noise when you run that chain through there now i also have a spare tire to my truck on a rim with a second spare tire not on a rim actually i have three spare tires for my truck and one's underneath the truck on a rim that one and this one and i also have my five gallon gas can here full of gas and it's ran through the both ends of the chain are ran through there so and like i said i also bolt this or lock this thing down to the floor as well inside my house because the part of my house where this is locked up at is concrete and there's no tile on it and that was done on purpose because before i had this bike i had my other bikes and i've always bolted my bikes down to the floor the same place so and then now because i have the gas can the ramp these two tires i run the chain through there and i lock the chain itself to the eye bolts on the floor on three separate locations so the way the reason why i do it that way inside my house is because in that way they have to break into my house in order to get to a thing which is going to make a lot of noise and second off I'm making it as hard as I possibly can because yeah you can have those locks that lock on your rotor that will prevent them from rolling but that's not going to solve the problem okay you know what I'm talking about they look like these little locks that go on the rotors here right they're like you know to prevent them from rolling well let me tell you something unfortunately that's all that she had on her bike but the thing is is when it comes to people stealing bikes they don't roll the bike away they get two three four people in a truck or a van or something and they come over and then they pick up the bike and throw it into the van or into the truck or whatever kind of vehicle that is that they're using right so if the reason why i add all this shit to tied to my bike is to make it harder for them to carry because carrying my bike at 257 pounds is not that hard when you have two or three people but if you have all this other shit attached to it with this wheel and tire weighing about 50 plus pounds this tire being about 25 30 pounds my gas can being about 35 40 pounds with the fuel in it the ramp my stand and all this other shit not only is it heavier but it's wider and it's bulkier and it's gonna be a real it's not they're not gonna basically carry it away especially when it's locked to a couple of eye bolts that are sunk eight inches into concrete right and so well you're thinking well what if they just cut the lock and pull the chain out well 
they have to cut four locks, which is time consuming. And then if they pull a chain out, that's gonna make a lot of noise because the galvanized steel running through an aluminum ramp and around my frame and the gas can and the wheels, it makes a lot of freaking noise. Then they also still have to get into the house and then get the bike out of the house, roll it through my yard and down the driveway and basically all of it, you know, pretty far out to get to their vehicle, you know, so, you know, by the time they even get anywhere near to moving the bike out of my house, they're already going to have a hot, couple hot pieces of lead in their head, so, because I will hear them getting in the house and my dogs are gonna go nuts because they're gonna know somebody's there so they're gonna wake me up before these people whoever has an even chance to get inside my house now again like I said I'm only in my shed right now where I use to work on my bike just to show you you know kind of a one basic way to help kind of prevent your bike from being stolen um if you don't own a house or you don't want to put your bike in the house put it in the garage and lock it up with some stuff there if you don't have a house or a garage or a ramp gas can extra wheels and tires for your to a car or something find something that's big and heavy that you can run a chain through and like maybe three or four big heavy items that you can run an actual I would say go with nothing less than a 3 8 inch thick chain that's what I have here a 3 8 inch chain and I don't care if my bike's dirty or not I'd rather clean some dirt up off my damn floor than have this bike stolen you know what I'm saying so if you're living in an apartment complex, a condo, a condominium complex or something, and you don't have any way to, and you live up like on the second floor or something, your best bet would be find a place where you can try to keep an eye on your bike where it's not going to be seen or visible from other people out in public. And figure out a way to run you know some chains like that's a 14 foot tow chain that I have right there that I bought from Harbor Freight for 20 bucks okay uh, about I don't know, a year and a half ago you know like right after I got the bike so and I was basically using it to you know in my truck just in case I've ever got stuck but then I realized I don't really ever go off road so I might as well just use it to lock my bike up even though it's in the house so if you have like a light pole or something that is in the ground that will make a lot of noise with a metal chain being dragged around it or your best bet is to just try to find a way to make it as hard as absolutely freaking possible for someone to steal your shit because the criminals that want to steal a bike they want to steal a bike as quickly quietly and as efficiently as freaking possible i mean if you have your like i've seen many videos on YouTube of people's bikes getting stolen even out of their front yard with lights and cameras and everything on the bike and these people still roll up into the neighborhood pull up with a truck three guys jump out they pick up an R6 they throw it into the truck and jump in and they're gone and so if you can get a low jack system of some kind with gps tracking for a really good cheap price you can probably find them on amazon for real cheap 20 30 50 bucks something that you can access with your phone 
I say get it because really that's mainly going to be the only way you can get your bike back is by having low jack system. So now in the last year and a half or two years of me actually going as full hardcore as I am with YouTube since I've gotten this bike I've had now two people getting their bike stolen unfortunately and I hate it like first one was baby Randy rides from Lexington Kentucky got his 2013-ish or whatever 15 WR250 stolen now we have Joker motorcycle up in Portland Oregon area and she just had her 2017 R3 stolen. And it, it, it pisses me the hell off that people are getting their bikes stolen. And I know they're not the only two have ever who, are get, who have gotten their bikes stolen in the last two years. I know there's probably hundreds of other people that have gotten their bikes stolen. I just don't know about it. I've never heard anything about it. And I probably don't know those people as well. Or even at all. But that still doesn't mean that I want them to see their bikes getting stolen. Because someone getting their bike stolen is one of the worst things that can ever happen. It is probably one of, if not the worst thing that can happen to a biker. You know, of any kind, you know. And so my thing is, like I said, I'm going to post some pictures of her bike on my Instagram at Minion Moto. I'm going to tag her on in those pictures on Instagram. She's also in the pre premiered channels or whatever on my Instagram. So you can go over and find her channel on my homepage of my channel. It's Joker Motorcycle. Uh, if you have any more questions, you can probably hit her up on Instagram, probably. I'm not sure if she wants me to say that or not, but like I said, today's December 3rd. I got the pictures and everything today. I'm just kind of doing this on the fly real quick and forgetting about all my other videos right now because I wanted to make this one because it was more personal. Uh, because we're all bikers for the most part and... I don't ever want to see anybody getting their bike stolen. So, just if you're in the Portland, Oregon area, in the surrounding area, if you see the bike, uh, call the cops or try to stop the person and get the bike back and then call the cops then once you get the bike. Uh, whatever you can do or hit her up on Instagram and tell her whatever you gotta tell her but i'm just saying it's i'm gonna tell you what i've probably said this before in one of my videos if i have i'm sorry but i'm gonna say it again if we lived our lives today like we did in the 1800s where everybody was walking around with a gun on their hip and you were to have automatic prosecution of being hanged or shot, I seriously doubt a lot of people would be doing the shit that they're doing today. Like trying to steal someone's bike, stealing someone's car, breaking into their houses, whatever. Because if I saw someone roaming around on my property or in my house and I don't know them and I feel like they have wrongful intentions and they look like they have wrongful intentions because they're dressed in all black or in, with gloves or whatever the hell, I don't care if I shoot my own house or my own truck or my own property or whatever and I don't even care if I don't even shoot them at all, I will start laying down shots at them or towards them to let them know hey you're on the wrong piece of property you need to get the hell out of this area as quickly as you possibly can or you're gonna end up leaving like a piece of swiss cheese in a body bag so anyways quick rant dumb video i know i just needed to 
I'm posting this video today. Like I said, I'm not worried about any of my other videos right now. I needed to get this one out there. My videos res will resume tomorrow with all whatever other videos I have already and videos I'm gonna already make later. I just need to get that out there. Thank you for enjoying the Minion Moto Show. Please go follow and hit up Joker Motorcycle and try to give her the support that you possibly can. See you guys later.